so Sundays we have all kinds of reasons to feel things about uh, what we might rather be doing. But worship in the end isn't about how we feel. Peterson in the book that uh, follows the series that we're doing, Eugene Peterson writes this and it's beautiful and so true. The truth is about us that we can act our ways into new ways of feeling far faster than we can ever feel our ways into new ways of acting. Think about that for a moment. We live in a world where we think our feelings define what we should do. In fact, even in philosophy, it's about our passions controlling our reason rather than the other way around. So it's countercultural to say we ought to behave in a way that will direct our feelings rather than our feelings direct our behavior. The problem is feelings change. They're fickle, and we can't often depend on them to always guide our behaviors in ways that we would act. And the truth is our actions build grooves into our behaviors and life. Our actions shape our feelings in disciplined way and worships the way that God does this. Think about the ramifications for our relationships. If we did everything only when we felt like it, there'd be days we'd never get out of bed, but here you are. Our relationships would not last because there'd be moments when we feel like quitting them, whether they're friendships or marriages. Feelings come and go and are affected by things like the weather, what we eat, our hormones. None of these are bad things, they just are undependable things. And we wanna know how to live well as real people. Worship invites us to be patterned in such a way that we might live well the journey God's called us to. We behave our way into new ways of feeling much faster than we can feel our ways into new ways of acting. So we show up anyway, even when we don't feel like it, and that transforms us.